What's up? Welcome back to my shitty basement for an update. Um, good news. I got microphones now, so hopefully the audio will be better. Um, so let's talk about the uh, repair of the arming sword. It was uh, went great. It was awesome. Everything worked out super great for um, like learning how not to do things because it broke. So um, yeah, it took like 30 seconds of fighting for it to break. Not great. Um, I did have a couple people reach out to me, um, who actually weld for a living, who are way smarter than I am. This is my, basically my first real thing I tried to weld. Um, so Robert Nash reached out to me, gave me some pointers, um, said I should probably be using TIG welding for this. Um, it's going to be a lot better penetration, I guess, a lot cleaner. What I've been using is a flux core MIG welder. Um, so I don't have the ability to use like argon gas or whatever gas they use as a shielding um, gas. So it's got the, the flux built into the wire. It's a pretty messy way to weld, but it, it should work. But um, the other person that reached out to me was Mikey Johnson. Um, he took a look at this. He was there when it broke. Said probably the penetration of the weld um, was not up to par, so probably not hot enough on the weld. So the only option I have right now is my FluxCore MIG welder. Um, Mikey seems to think we, he can make it work, so he's going to come over, help me try to do this one more time. We'll see. Um, you know, it's not going to hurt anything. It's uh, it's broken. Let's fuck with it and try to see if we can fix it. Uh, it's a learning experience for me, so I'm all about it. Um, right now we're doing events with no spectators, um, so I'm not going to kill any spectators if this breaks again. Um, I'll probably test it out more before fighting, so yeah. So that's what's going on with that. So we'll set that aside. Let's talk about gauntlets. Um, everything worked great. Um, hopefully you saw the, the gauntlet review that I did and my upgrades. So these held together great. They felt great. One problem is where I put this strap right here, my fingertips just barely make it over the top. So when I was gripping the arming sword, um, I didn't have a good feel of the sword in my hand. So my fingertips were kind of just, luckily I have a sword handle here. Um, when they, my hands wrap around, they were just kind of sitting out like that. I didn't really have a good feeling on the, on the actual handle of the sword. Um, so if you're doing these upgrades yourself, I'm going to suggest moving this down, you know, so it's across maybe just above uh, your main knuckles there. Um, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to actually cut this down probably half. Um, just get rid of a lot of that mass right there. These would be fine for melee, holding an axe. Oh, well, for me anyway, holding a two-handed axe, these would be perfectly acceptable. I could do that all day, no problem. Um, right now, these are the only gauntlets I have that are usable, so these got to do double duty. Maybe in the future I'll get some, uh, like the scale gauntlets for singles, but right now um, we're just going to modify these real quick just to see what that does and if that helps at all. So let's see. <laughs> So the good sharp razor was easy enough to just modify these straps um, about half the width and it makes a huge difference really. It's right in the right, seems like it's in the right spot now to actually securely hold the handle and feel where the handle is. So, so now the handle kind of rides on that strap instead of preventing me from grasping it so we'll give it a try out once we get this thing fixed again and see how that works um anyway that's it for today thanks appreciate it see you next time